If your AI voice sounds like this, follow along with me to the end, and I'll show you exactly how to edit your AI voiceovers to sound more human. YouTube isn't banning AI voices, but poorly edited ones can hurt your content. And you want it to sound like this. Follow along with me to the end, and I'll show you exactly how to edit your AI voiceovers to sound more human. YouTube isn't banning AI voices, but poorly edited ones can hurt your content. YouTube is not demonetizing AI voiceovers. Instead, the platform is targeting low effort, spammy, or repetitive AI content that lacks originality or human touch. If you're using AI-generated voices in a way that's creative, informative, or engaging, especially when paired with original visuals or storytelling, you're still eligible for monetization. The key is quality and value. YouTube's main focus is to ensure that content feels meaningful and not mass-produced just to game the system. So if your AI voiceovers sound natural and serve a real purpose, you're totally safe and still in line with YouTube's latest policies. So, if you want your voiceovers to sound smooth, natural, and almost indistinguishable from real humans, then you're in the right place. I'm going to show you exactly how I take a flat, synthetic AI voice and edit it step-by-step step into something that sounds so real. People often ask me, wait, is that you speaking? Or, what mic are you using? Well, it's not about the mic. It's about how you edit the voice. Whether you're creating YouTube videos, audiobooks, or narrations for storytelling or explainer content, getting your AI voice to sound convincingly human is a total game changer. A voice that connects emotionally can completely change how your audience experiences your video. So let's jump right into the full process. Step one, generate your AI voice. To get started, I head over to Envato Element or Eleven Labs. I will be using Envato Element as this is where I have my subscription. You can use any voice generation of your choice as what really matters is the editing. Log in or create a free account. Paste your script into the text box. Choose a voice from the voice library or design a custom voice. Adjust the stability and clarity sliders for emotional depth. Click Generate and download the voice. Sometimes I try different voices for the same script. I'm Amara, and every red carpet moment is my time to dazzle and inspire. I'm Wyatt, and nothing beats the rush of a high-stakes poker game. I'm Abhi, and I believe every voice has the power to tell a story that stays with you. Just to see which tone and pacing fits best. If it's a serious script, I go for calm and confident. If it's a more playful or upbeat video, I look for something brighter and friendly. Now, this is where the magic really begins. Step two, import into Adobe Audition. You can use any audio editing tool of your choice, like Audacity, Cubase, or whatever platform you're most comfortable with. Once I have my audio file downloaded, I open up Adobe Audition. It's a powerful tool. And yes, it might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but I'll guide you through it like a friend sitting beside you. How to import. Open Adobe Audition. Go to File. Open and select your AI-generated voice file. You'll now see the way form on the timeline. Before doing anything else, listen to your voice on more human. And most importantly, avoid demonetization. YouTube isn't banning AI voices, but poorly edited ones can hurt your content. So in this video, take mental notes. Does it sound flat? Too robotic? Too slow? Good. Let's fix all that. Step three, trim silence and unwanted spaces. One of the quickest wins in making AI voiceovers sound natural is to cut out dead space and unnatural pauses. Here's how. Zoom into the timeline. Select the sections of silence that feel too long or awkward. Press delete to trim them out. This cleanup not only makes your content smoother, but it also increases engagement. People are less likely to click away when your voiceover flows like a natural conversation. Always listen to your audio while following along the waveform. If you see long flat lines Lines, that's usually silence. Get rid of them unless they serve a purpose like dramatic effect. Step four, noise reduction. Optional, but recommended. Sometimes the voice you download might have slight background noise or digital artifacts. Do this. Select a quiet portion of your waveform. Just noise. Go to effects. Noise reduction. Denoise. Select the light noise reduction and move the slider. Step five, add EQ to shape the tone. Now here's where the real transformation begins. EQ helps shape the tone of the voice, making it fuller, warmer, and less robotic. Go to Effects Filter and EQ, Parametric Equalizer. Use the following starting settings. Boost the low mid slightly, around 120 Hz to 250 Hz for warmth. Slightly cut the high mids, 2K Hz to 4K Hz if it's too harsh. Add a gentle lift in the highs, 8K Hz to 12K Hz for clarity. Play around with the EQ while the voice is playing. Trust your ears. Make small changes. 
Listen again. You can also save your best settings as a preset for future use. If the settings look complicated, no worries. Just click on the presets and select voiceover. That will automatically adjust everything for you. Just listen to what sounds best to you. EQ is the heart of humanizing an AI voice. It helps simulate the natural resonance and character of a real vocal cord. Step six, compression. Make it pop. Compression helps even out your audio. So the loud parts aren't too loud and the quiet parts aren't lost. Go to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, Dynamics Processing. Use a basic step eight. Follow along with me to the end, and I'll show you exactly YouTube isn't banning AI voices, but poorly edited ones can hurt your content. Final polish. Normalize and export. Select the full audio waveform. Go to Favorites. Normalize to 3DB. File, Export, File. Click Browse to select your location, then rename it and click OK. Save it as a high quality WAV or MP3 file. This final step ensures your volume is consistent and optimized for playback on any device, headphones, speakers, or smartphones. Before we move to the final thoughts, if you found even one thing helpful here, do me a quick favor by hitting the subscribe button. Drop a comment if you're working on your own AI content. I'd love to hear what you're building. Additionally, I have this content on free AI tools to make viral documentary videos in minutes. Do well to check it out and trust me, I break it down and you can monetize it if you do it consistently. Final tips and monetization truth. Now here's the thing, you don't need to edit AI voices to get monetized on YouTube, but it helps, especially in niches like storytelling, tutorials or reviews where voice delivery makes or breaks retention. The more human emotion and natural pacing you add to your voiceover, the longer people stay and the better YouTube treats your content. But not every AI voice needs heavy editing. Some, like Eleven Labs, are already close to perfect. Your job is to fine tune, personalize, and cut out the AI feel as much as possible. And yes, that takes time. But once you create a few presets in Adobe Audition, the process becomes super smooth. Summary recap. Generate your AI voice, Eleven Labs or similar. Import into Adobe Audition. Trim silence, clean up audio EQ for tone and warmth. Compress for balance, add light reverb for realism, normalize and export done. You now sound human and ready for YouTube. If you want my exact preset files or a full breakdown of how I prepare voiceovers for storytelling videos, let me know in the comments. Thanks for hanging with me this far. Go create something amazing. And now, here's what we got after exporting. Follow along with me to the end, and I'll show you exactly how to edit your AI voiceovers to sound more human. And most importantly, avoid demonetization. YouTube isn't banning AI voices, but poorly edited ones can hurt your content.